How you guys doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Edge Technology Projector Screens using Smart Technology Games. Sorry about my camera's having a little bit of focus fight with me right now. All right, so um, what I want to basically point out here is I see, I'm not putting anybody down, but I see quite a few video demonstrations on YouTube where people are displaying their screens. These are people that are working on uh, bringing out a projector screen and they're displaying their screens uh, with very little ambient light in the room. Now, let me turn off some of these lights here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so you'll have some that will have light in this room right here like in the kitchen in my kitchen i have light cascading through the windows as you can see uh, right there but they'll have the kitchen light on and it'll be a wall about right there and it'll, it completely won't be touching the screen at all okay this is just ambient light bypassing the screen just because you see it in the next room doesn't mean it's actually going to affect the screen sorry about that guys i'm having the cameras acting up with the focus here i'm gonna point it downward all right so then you have some people who have this. They'll have this light on right here. And that, they'll say, look, the screen has amazing ambient light, but the rest of the room will be dark. Now, what I want you to do is when you watch these demonstrations, look at the wall. Look at the wall. Look how much uh, light the wall, how bright the wall is. And another thing I want you to do is look at the screen. See exactly how much light is literally hitting that screen because they should show it before and after, as in before what the screen looks like with all the light hitting the screen, and then the after, which when you turn on the projector. That's why when you see me do my demonstrations, I've always got a piece of paper covering over the lens of the projector because I want you to see exactly how much light is literally hitting the screen before actually showing you exactly the reaction of the Crystal Edge technology uh, screen blackout cloth. Now, so we're gonna come over here real quick. Thank goodness I got a house with a lot of lighting because that's important to me. So I have my overhead fans on. So I have one here, one here, have a light on here. And as you can see, the room is very, very, very bright. I'm telling you, so one of the things I hope for when I get up in the morning and I do demonstrations is sunlight, some kind of ambient light casting through the window. Because for me, that's important. That's how I really get a true test um, or a true demonstration on what um, our smart technology game can do. So I'm gonna come over here real quick and I'm gonna show you something really quick. I've done this before, but I want you guys to look at this. Now, when you're looking at someone who's saying that their screen can take on uh, outside ambient light, look at the blinds carefully. Now, if the blinds look like this, the blinds are not fully open, there's no light coming in. It's just little peaks of light coming in between the blinds. That's basically about it. What you want to look for is you want to see the blinds fully open. Now, I mean fully open, that camera should be pointed at the window and you should be to see objects on the other end showing that the blinds are fully open and the light is pushing through, it's cascading in and it's hitting the screen right there. So as you can see by my room, that there is plenty of light in this room. This room is very, very well lit. As you can see, look at it, very well lit. Now I'm gonna come over here and remove this from the projector, piece of paper, and I'll show you the screen right there. Okay, there is a screen. Now let's come over and let's start the demonstration. Now I like to go up on the staircase because that also gives me a shot of the, uh, the uh, window and it gives me the shot of the fans at the exact same time. So you can see the screen right there, the window's cascading in light, we got two ceiling fans, we got the light right next to it, and you check out the screen. And this is an ambient light test. Because what you're dealing with, you're dealing with what people deal with most of all. They deal with the ambient light they have in their environment. They deal with the ambient light that's coming through the window. This is what they want to know. You can't, what's the word for it? I'm not trying to put anybody down, but you just can't half step it, you know. Because if you're really afraid to push your screen to the limit, then it shouldn't be on the market. I'm not trying to put anybody's work down. It's just if you're really not going to push the limit because you got people out there that will get a hold of your sample sheet and they will push it to the limit and they will find your flaws. So you have to have 100% confidence 
that your screen can withstand this kind of ambient light and still look magnificent. I mean, I've done demonstrations where I've had uh, test screens right against the window. Uh, if you need to see that, I'll put that down in the comment section and you guys can check that out. Now look at the blues. Look how beautiful that screen looks. And we have light cascad cascading in. And then a lot of things people won't do is they won't do a full angle gain. Now I mean by angle gain, you should be able to go over to your screen and you should be able to move it to the side and you should be able to see the screen crystal clear from any angle. See, there's my screen right there. I can go over on a complete angle and this screen will look magnificent. And I'm doing it in a full lit environment. I got light coming in from the kitchen, light coming in from the ceiling, and it looks fantastic. Look at that. Gotta go a little higher up on the staircase there. Like I said, I like to get the window and I like to get the lights at the same time so you guys can really get the effect of how fantastic these screens are. Now, you know, you got some people out there to say that, look, you can go with, you can, you don't have to pay that kind of money for a projector screen, the blackout cloth. Like our blackout cloth is about $468 for a 100 inch uh, 16 by 10 wide screen. But if you go out and you buy that do it yourself white blackout cloth, I guarantee you bar none that your screen will not pass this test. You will get a washed out bland you will get a, a discolored uh, screen that will only give you probably 30% of your projector's capability. Your contrast levels will be washed out. And the reason why I know this is because I've had customers contact me and use my crystal screen paint to actually cover over their pre-existing white projector screens and uh, do-it-yourself blackout cloth uh, projector screen kits. So I know that from experience firsthand on exactly what they are experiencing. Now, to get a screen with this kind of capability, and I have tested my screens against some of the high-end screens on the market, and you've seen the uh, ability of my screens and what they have done, um, consider the fact that a screen with this kind of caliber, uh, this kind of magnificent color contrast level, and the uh, amazing gain, you will pay for a screen like this anywhere from three to $5,000 and up just for a 100 inch. And yet our screens, our blackout cloth, will only cost you about Actually, to tell you the truth, let's go back a bit here. We have a new kit that's five by seven, and that kit's about three hundred and forty-two dollars. Uh, the next kit is about five by ten, and it's about four hundred and sixty-eight. And those kits come with free color option, which means you will not pay extra for the color. You will not pay extra for the ratio size, which is sixteen nine, sixteen ten, two thirty-five, which select screens. And all our screens are embedded with the exact same code, which is the smart technology gain. So, you know, like I said, that's a lot when you think about it. Look at that. Look how magnificent that looks. Now, if you think this looks incredible with the lights, imagine this screen with the lights off. It will blow your socks off. Now, you see right here, I'm not tiptoeing around this. I mean, you don't see partially lit room. You don't see light cascading in one area of the room that has nothing to do with the screen. This screen is surrounded by light. And just to add, like, like I said, blackout cloth on the market, our blackout cloth is different from anything you've ever seen. Our blackout cloth can be used for indoor and outdoor projector screens, so it's completely weatherproof. Will not crack or peel. Now, just want to add real quick before I end this demonstration, we are coming out with a motorized projector screen. Just want to make that clear, that is a definite, yes, a motorized projector screen. We are working on a rear projector screen, which is for the rear projector enthusiasms out there who really like the uh, rear screens. We're bringing that out. And the motorized screens at the time will be at the screen size of 100 inch, 16 by 9 wide screen just to let you know and they are going to look magnificent just like the crystal edge it'll be a motorized screen and those screens will only be available at our contract distributors I'll put actually contract distributor I'll put that information at the bottom of the video you guys can check that out and yes the curved screens are coming trust me curved screens simulator screens acoustic screens they are all coming well, Kenneth Bird from Crystal Edge Technology Projector Screens using smart technology gain. I'd like to thank you for this demonstration. I'd like to thank you for your time and watching my videos.